Hi, and welcome to Woo Wrong Way. And today we are going to review the Gotway M103 84 volt, 512 watt hour after 500 kilometers of use. So let me tell you more about it. First of all, also a huge thanks to myewheel.com. They actually gave this wheel to me as a sort of a present so I can use it. Uh, so, you know, that's just a disclaimer before the video. But if you want to buy a EUC in Europe, just check out myewheel.com. I'm sure you'll find something nice there. Anyways, if you want a full, you know, rundown of specs, uh, you know, hill climb tests, speed tests, you can check that out in my initial review of the M103. Here you mostly see like my opinions and what I think of it after using it for a bit of a longer time. Right off the bat, uh, my opinion of the M103 shifted a bit. And reason for that is that I actually found out that surprisingly enough, <laughs> this electric unicycle is not really destined for adults you know it's written on the tire 70 kilograms is the full load of the tire including the euc so there's probably like 60 kilos of spare i'm now weighing probably around 80 kilograms with gear and you can tell that the m103 struggles really struggles with this weight especially if you try to ride on one leg you start on the euc it there's just some sort of scratching noises and yeah it's not really destined for a rider even that is not that heavy at 80 kilograms and fun fact alien rides actually also did like a review of clark pads at some point and he jumped i think once or twice on the m103 and he basically broke it he broke the axles so never jump your m103 at any any point and it's also important to keep the pressure of these this euc high because uh, tires are ve very prone to getting flats if they're not at their full, full potential, I mean at their full pressure, and check this out. This EUC, because of its you know wide tire and small diam diameter, it's not the thing that it's like not comfortable to ride because you know that's what you'd expect from a small EUC with a small tire and no suspension. But the thing is that the tire is wide, so it just steers you off in every direction. Upside of it is that it's extremely nimble at snow speed and probably the best you see to, you know, start uh, your first uh, <laughs> steps on because it reacts really in instantaneously and if you ride slow, it's very stable, surprisingly stable actually and has an amazing turning ratio. But I also had to do some mods in order to make this EUC a bit more comfortable. Number one, I had to fit the additional Nicola pads on that which don't look that great uh, but I think they're actually necessary in order to have more control over the M103 as the stock pads just actually don't cut it at all they're way too narrow and the UC was sort of you know dangling in between my legs <laughs> uh, before I had those but you know with the Nicola pads or any pads on the side you'll be just fine. Aside from that, I didn't mod anything uh, on the M10. I think it's pretty cool that it has also side pads where your ankles are, so that is a really cool option. But the foot blades themselves are really tiny. I mean, you can really tell that they're not destined for adult human beings. 
So if you have a limited space, I mean really, really limited, and you want the smallest EUC, then yeah, this will take up the least amount of space, but you also need to consider like what comes with it. Uh, in terms of overall performance, it's amazing. Like for such a small package, it's extremely fast, it accelerates well, and then outperforms anything in its price class and its size class, so to speak. It's super fast. I rode this thing at 35 kilometers an hour on the street and you know it's it's really strange to be on a, such a small thing and, and and to ride so fast but it does that and it does that pretty reliably um, acceleration is amazing uh, it's very fast in terms of reaction so you know just lean a bit forwards and it already goes but you can overpower it also quite easily so nice huh Before I used to also use the uh, M103 to ride around on Plaza Conocera, that's you know where I reside to, to go like around the shops and stuff. After going around the shop a, a bit on the MSX, I then tried to ride on the M103 again and I nearly cut off because I tried to accelerate too hard. This is definitely a danger if you have other UCs around. Back to the portability, I think it's great that it's so small and I can fit it into a backpack but I thought I would use this feature actually more because I thought I would go somewhere, take the M103 in the backpack and you know, and then just go, go back on a different device or whatever. But because of the characteristics of its ride, I would much rather prefer to go there on the MSX and just figure out something else uh, in, instead of going on the M103. And taking a M103 in the backpack is still not easy. I had the M103 when I was going on a Cyclone e-bike Venom uh, and tell you what, it's it's just not that easy, turns out, to have the M103 in your backpack whilst riding on a different device. So it came in handy a couple times, you know, when I was riding a scooter, I put the M103 on a scooter, really easy to do that. But in terms of functionality, it's, it's also not that good that it doesn't have any trolley handle. So what you do in a store is you actually need to turn it off and usually you have to like do this move because the switch is in the front. I wish it was like somewhere here turn on and off switch. Because of that, I also didn't take the M103 that often to the store because I would need to put it into a shopping cart. Well, it fits into a shopping cart, but I'd much rather like trolley a Emotion V10F around with the backpack on it than have to go into a store and, and then put it into a shop, shopping cart, etc, etc. I know there's uh, additional handles you can buy for the M103, but yeah, I ne never got around to, to doing that and I think that, you know, it should be already built in as er everything in EUCs. So in total, to, to get to the 500 kilometers, it really took a while on the M103. Whoa, see that? That's the danger. Uh, it steers you just in every direction and when there is like, uh, when the road isn't even. Uh, and I don't think actually I'm gonna use it that much anymore. Uh, maybe I'm gonna sell it, I don't know. Uh, but it just isn't used that much. It's great. I mean, it's great to have for like this special occasion when you just really need a M103. For example, a kid wants to try it. It's best for kids. Believe me, it's the best you see to start out for kids, in my opinion, especially like small kids. I gave it to a friend and his kid just learned it in like two days. It's amazing. And it's great to, you know, at this special occasion to, I don't know, go in the store and you can just push the shopping cart and you're on the M103. And because it's like so low to the ground and so, you know, almost like invisible between your legs, <laughs> then you can just go pretty much in any store and most of the security you will just not uh, care. If your space is like not really limited, I would probably advise to go with a Motion V5 or V8. Uh, these are like way more, uh, way better UCs in terms of like practicality, trolley handle and, uh, and so on. But you know, if you're a kid, if you have a really limited space, if you want to have like a new experience because riding on the M103 is like totally different from any other UC. It's like riding essentially a 9 baht Z10, but in a really small form. Uh, it's great for riding really slowly, it's great for, you know, doing the pendulum, but not too strong, you don't want to, don't want to overpower the motor. It's extremely stable at small speeds, it has a ridiculously low, as you can see, turning radius. So for a very cramped city, it might be something, 
But then again, if you fall into some sort of bump or, uh, you know, hole uh, in the street, you know, it's way better to have a bigger tire then. Uh, sometimes also, if you ride really fast and you go onto like a smaller bump, it might overpower, like the pedals might dip. So you need to be, uh, actually that's what happened right there. Uh, careful of that as, as well. You need to be like really loose when you're riding the M10. You can't be stiff because then you are just going to fall. So unless it's these two things, I wouldn't really recommend getting the M10 free. Get something else instead, something bigger. I don't know, MCM5, uh, Emotion V8, V5. And of course, if you would like to see a teardown of this EUC, then let me know in the comments below. So. I guess that's it for this short 500 kilometer review of the M103. Uh, if you like this video, then leave a like on it. Uh, subscribe to ooh, see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video. So, see you soon.